Now that the video is completely edited, it's time to share it with your audience. We're back at the video page where you'll find all of our sharing options. Selecting the blue copy shareable link button on the top right will copy the video's unlisted link to your clipboard. This means that anyone who has the link to the video will be able to view, but no one else will. If you'd prefer a different privacy setting, simply select that unlisted on the bottom of copy shareable link, where you can make it private so only you can see it, public so everybody can see it, or unlisted, which we've already done. You can also view the video on Google Drive where you have the opportunity to add comments or simply see the video in your Google Drive folder. Under our share options, you'll notice that there are tons of other things that you can do with your Screencastify videos. Notably, you can share them to Google Classroom where you have the opportunity to create video-based assignments for your students. Your students can also use this exact same link in order to turn in assignments. As long as you've created the assignment, they can attach a video right from Screencastify. When the video assignment you've created is perfect, selecting that assign button in Screencastify will actually push it out to your students. That means they'll have the opportunity to see it and complete the assignment. You'll also notice that Screencastify allows you to publish your recordings to YouTube. In order to publish recordings to YouTube, you'll need to have not just a YouTube account, but also a YouTube channel. Once you've connected your channel, you can select your privacy settings. YouTube allows you to make a video unlisted, where similar to Google Drive, you would have the opportunity to share a link to the video where anyone without the link to the video would be unable to find it. You can also make a video public so that folks can just search on YouTube and find your video. And finally, you can make the video private so that only you can see the video. You'll also notice that Screencastify allows you to copy the embed code. Copying the embed code allows you to paste it anywhere you like on your website. By default, Screencastify shows three different options under the share icon. Selecting more options will allow you to see other things that you can do with your video. We're automatically doing work in the background to make sure that you see the three sharing options that you use most frequently. But of course, you'll have access to every sharing option we offer with selecting that more options icon. Under more options, you can send the recording in an email. This will pull up a new email in Gmail or your email client where the unlisted link to the video will already be in the body of the email. Simply put in the email address of the person you'd like to share the video with and press send. You can also generate a QR code, which you can copy to your clipboard to share digitally or download if you'd like to print it and paste it anywhere in your classroom or school. Underneath the share options, there are also tons of options for downloading the video. Download as an MP4, export only the audio as an MP3, or export it as an animated GIF to share on Twitter or quickly share with your colleagues in a tech tip. Those are all of the sharing options you have with Screencastify. Now that you know exactly how to work the extension and the editor, we're ready to start talking about the ways in which you can use Screencastify. I can't wait for you to join us in the next segment where we'll talk about sharing videos with your students.